These guys, like any athlete, is going to do anything they can to win. We all going to do whatever our profession is. We want to win. We're going to take that edge. Some of these guys, when they've gone, the night NASA died, Kevin, Paul, and myself were on the phone till three in the morning. I mean, you know, you got to remember, on those tours, we'd live together like a rock band. We're all in this together. We're all like a family. When we were on the tour, if anybody said anything to anybody, we'd all go after that person. You know, they may fight like brothers, but anybody go after your brother, you know, the whole family goes there. That's the way it was. Uh, you did uh, the extra work, you did the extra 5 or 10% or whatever it took, and you finally made it. That's true. I uh, don't cut any corners. Any show I train for, 100% all the way. And uh, fortunately, it worked out for the best for me here tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it premature to ask what your plans are going to be for the future? It's very premature because I can't even believe I'm a pro standing here right now. I've been thinking and dreaming it so long, and it's just, I think this needs about a good couple months to set in before it actually hits me, knowing that I got to compete against monsters. So, I don't know, I just hope for the best. I paid my dues and tonight was my night and um, I'm very happy with the outcome. Whether the decision is good or bad, I just accept it because life goes on. Exactly. It was a long time coming. You know, I've been training for a long time for this title. And I don't just mean in months, I mean in years, you know. So, uh, pretty big goal in my life that I wanted to get over. When you want to be the best in the world, they're pushing their bodies to the outer limit. It's a very drastic step that you'll have to take. They don't make you a champion. Don't be fooled either. They don't make you a champion. Don't be fooled. You don't know what you could be opening up. So I tell guys, especially young guys, dude, unless you're going to make a living at it, unless you feel that you can be a, a true champion, unless you're really willing to take a risk, kind of see that transition from uh, the older to the newer guys and uh, they're hungry and they want a bad so I think it's going to be exciting. They don't make you a champion. It, extremely, I know all these guys up here, I've trained with these guys since the early 90s, I've, I've competed against them. These guys are major league intense trainers. When they get hooked on something, it's balls to the wall. As if he's ready to explode with power. I'm not coming into the show just to, to see how somebody wins. I like to be definitely up there. I'm not going to sell myself short. And, you know, maybe whether I win the library or never win the library. And know I gave this my dream, everything I had, than to not have succeeded and wonder, well, what if I would have tried hard? So I don't want to live the rest of my life wondering, you know, if I gave it everything I got. I want to know I gave it everything I got. And uh, I think, you know, these fans pay the hard earned money to come see us. We should give them a show. We, even though. As NASA stated earlier, the dieting is incredibly, incredibly difficult. When it's time to party up there, it's time to party and you should make, make them a part of it.
like to be world class, and to be world class, you have to give something special, you have to do something extra. So it's like when I turn pro, you know, I worked this hard to get there. You know how it is, you work X hard. But like when I came to time to get on the pro stage, yeah, you gotta take it to a whole new level, man, because these guys, like, these are guys that live to do this. So you better be living to do this, you know what I'm saying? Because you better believe they are. I went back into training, my body exploded like never before. Like, that's some of the best growing I've ever done. Anyone in any aspect of life who is very, very successful are not normal. Not at all. You cannot be normal to excel in something. Take pride in the fact that you're not normal and take pride in the fact that you have your own mind and your own way of thinking. Do it 100% and do it for your own reasons. 30 years, I've been training pretty much non-stop. Every day, I don't miss workouts, I don't miss meals, because this is what I love to do. You can imagine, it's a lot of work. It's more consistency, continuing to always push forward. Bigger, bigger. Harder. Try it, come on. Keep it up, come on. The number one thing is people wanted to happen overnight. Back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, the culture was very different. It was, I'm going to do what it takes for as long as it takes to get there. What I like about going to the gym, what I've always loved, is I actually take a little pride in being able to do things that I don't think other human beings can do. Taking yourself past the level of pain that most people just can't handle. Bodybuilding's supposed to be, you know, the ultimate male, the extreme, you know, they look like this, you know, we all, we look at the pictures when we're teenage boys, I want to be built like this. That's the difference between just doing something and trying to be the best in the world. Like I said, when we lose some of our guys, Munzer, you know, he wanted to be a champion so much that, you know, he was told by many, stop doing this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes guys can't. They want it so bad. And, um... Rock the house, baby. Rock the house. Nessa El Sambate. Listen, our gravestone, our gravestone has a date. A date when you were born and a date when you die. And they got a dance in between. And that dash defines what your legacy is. I was feeling pretty rough. And, uh, you know, hindsight, I wanted to get up here and put on a show for you guys. And I pushed it as far as uh, my body would let me. And uh, I just ain't got nothing left. Yeah. You know, there just ain't no quit in me. There ain't never gonna be.